Whoa! Since when did the Evil Queen become cooler than Snow White? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Snow White and the Huntsman. I should have killed her when she was a child. I need her heart beating with blood. I've seen what she sees. I can kill her. I will give this wretched world the queen it deserves. That's right, Snow White doesn't even get to keep the title to herself. In fact, the publicity for Snow White and the Huntsman is focused much more on the evil queen and the Huntsman than Snow White, but perhaps rightly so. After all, producer Joe Roth used the same tactic with Alice in Wonderland to great effect, showcasing Johnny Depp's Mad Hatter and Helena Bonham Carter's Red Queen to such a degree that it didn't appear to be Alice's movie at all. Of course, once audiences entered the theater, they discovered it was very much Alice's movie, a revelation that actually annoyed a lot of people. Should we expect a bait and switch once more? Kristen Stewart fans would be thrilled and greatly rewarded for their loyalty, which, based on her overall absence from the advertising, Roth and Universal feel is a done deal. Then again, buzz for Snow White and the Huntsman is so strong there are already talks of a sequel, and Roth has revealed such a sequel would most likely focus on the Huntsman. Say what? A pretty interesting development for a role that was turned down by Johnny Depp, Hugh Jackman, and Viggo Mortensen before Chris Hemsworth signed on. But with Mueller in one hand and the Huntsman's axe in the other, Hemsworth is slowly but surely becoming a major action star. But with all this talk of the Huntsman, what about the Prince? He's in the movie played by Pirates of the Caribbean, Sam Claflin, yet his total absence from the publicity, as well as the Dwarves absence, plus the addition of armies and royal intrigue, certainly makes it seem like we should expect the unexpected, which is awesome and fueling audience interest. But what is expected is that Snow White the Huntsman will give a big boost to all those involved, and not just in front of the camera. This is an impressive big screen debut for director Rupert Sanders, best known for his Halo 3 live action short, We Are ODST. This new flick puts him in league with Joseph Kaczynski, Tom Hooper, and Rupert Wyatt, directors who didn't work their way up a la Christopher Nolan, but jumped right into the deep end of Hollywood's shark infested waters and delivered. Well, let's not count our beating hearts from the princess before they've been brought to us, right? Let's go find out if Snow White and the Huntsman is indeed fairest in the land. Is this your new favorite version of Snow White? Yes, absolutely. Ooh, very emphatic. Absolutely. Very much yeah. so. Yeah, it is. Oh, what did you like about it? Um, it was more it was it was darker, so it wasn't like like a girly movie like the other ah, Snow White. It was manly Snow White. Yeah, it was right? manly, manly Snow White. <laughs> Whose movie is it? Charlize Theron. Really? Yes. Oh, you didn't even have to think about it. No, I mean, I, I really came for her anyway. Charlize uh, Theron does the reason I'm going to this oh, yeah? movie. Yes. Uh, and she was really awesome in the part. I like Charlie Theron already. Yeah. And I thought she was good as a queen. Yeah. And I hate Kristen Stewart. Ooh. She was amazing. Really? Yes, oh, she that's was. good. Could Kristen Stewart even compete? To me, no. I don't like her as an actress, so. Uh, Do you not like her just in general or because of the Twilight movies? Uh, in general, but after Twilight movie, I think it's worse. I mean, she's alright in Twilight. Her acting's a little. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But this one, she really was better at her acting oh, than good. in the Twilight movies. Oh, so. that's excellent. It was like Channing Tatum and Twenty One Jump Street. I didn't like him, and then I liked him after that movie. And then Kristen Stewart in this movie. She's pretty good. She needs to stop doing these Twilight movies. Oh wow, that's great. Okay, so now you're a fan. She's winning you over. Kristen Stewart was surprisingly good in this movie, but oh really? You know, ah. you know, I, I still think. She, they could pick somebody else. Do you think these are good female characters? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes I like yes. them. Yes, yeah. I do. so much. I mean, no, no. The oh, that's, right. that's very old school, that, that's, right? Yeah. That's really old school. Be beauty is always, you know, it's always treasured. No, the acting well, was bad. When someone is killed and is beautiful, oh, they make a big fuss. That's that uh, some, yeah, family somebody, guy joke. Yes, it's like <laughs> somebody is ugly, they don't pay attention. They don't really pay attention, and that's a shame. That yeah, really is a shame. it's horrible. Do you think it's time for no more princesses? We should have evil queens? Yes, I yeah. like the evil one, because always the princess is always so cute, and I don't like cute, <laughs> always pink or white. I don't like yeah. it, I like black. Of course, the huntsman. Oh, oh, did you like Chris Hemsworth? Oh, definitely. We saw him in Thor. Yes. Oh, yeah. He did the Avengers. He did the Marvel. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw him in Avengers. I didn't see Thor, though. I need to see it. Oh, so this movie makes you want to go back and rent Thor? Yeah. Oh, that's great. We want to meet, what's his name? Chris? Yes. Chris. Yes. You want to meet him? You I would actually to... like to meet him, maybe buy like a few the presents for his children. <laughs> Are you a fan of Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, those very good shows. Do you think that this movie is in that same vein? No, ah. no, <laughs> not really. Oh, how is it not? Uh, it's not as violent and as weird oh, okay. as Game of Thrones or as well, um, 
epic as Lord of the Rings. It's good, but it's Lord of the Rings. It's like, <laughs> you know. How about Game of Thrones? Is it as good as Game of Thrones? I or? mean, it's, it's, it's up there, but I think, you know, those movies are a little bit more up there than this one, but it, this one was still pretty it's good. It's still fun. Yeah, yeah, Lord of the Rings are fresh and the best I've ever seen, but this one, you're not going to miss it. So what would you give the movie on a 1 to 10? I give it an 8. Like an 8 and a half, 9? A 9. A 9. I'll give it an 8. Oh, I give it a 10. I ten. give it a 10. So while a warrior princess might be cool, it looks like it's time for the evil queen to reign supreme. As thanks to Charlize Theron, audiences give Snow White and the Huntsman a 9. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.